Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Burrow here and welcome back to another Dark Souls 3 video. Today I have a special treat for you guys. I have finally made yet another overpowered build. Well, a one combo build anyway. And it's centered around the spiked mace, which is currently one of my favorite weapons. So, it gave me great honor to try and focus a build centered around its true combo and taking out the opponent in one combo. So, let's just look at the stats for a second. It is a pure strength and faith build. Now, normally, I would try to have around 35 Vigor, but because this whole build is centered around taking out your opponent in one combo, all you really need is one opening or one opportunity to trade with your opponent to kill them. So, you don't need a huge health pool. Um, the 60 Strength could be up to 66 if you guys wanted to have a little bit more damage, 16 to be exact, but I found it wasn't really necessary in my testings. I never found anybody who survived the one combo with 60 Strength. So, I'd say it's optimized just how it is. Make sure you have the 60 faith for Dark Moonblade, gives you the highest magic damage, and make sure you have 60 strength, that's pretty much it, and the 13 dexterity requirement for the spiked mace. Um, looking at the actual spiked mace, make sure it's infused with the heavy gem, that we have the AR 590. I have a simple Cestus just to rebuild my FP, not that I'm really going to need it because the battle doesn't last that long. You need the Yorshka Shine because it has the highest spell buff with 60 faith. I have Gundyr's armor on with Night Leggings and Grave Warden wraps because that's what I can manage at 70%. Well, keep it in under 70% ratio. And it gives me 36 poise and it gives me an absorption of 30, which is pretty decent. Um, I have the Ring of Favor plus 3, the Prisoner's Chain, the Havel's Ring in order to wear this gear and hold the Spiked Mace, and the Priestess Ring because I found it was better to sacrifice a ring slot than 5 levels off of any of my other categories to put into my faith so that's what i found works for me um when buffed with dark moonblade the spiked mace gets an ar of bada boom 825 now that's pretty insane but what's even more insane is the battles guys we're gonna jump in and show you exactly how overpowered this build is all right guys so this is the first match where you get to see this thing in action it's gonna blow your mind I've never done it with the spike mace, but it's so easy. Watch, I'm just going to poise through him as he does his L1, because I know he's going to. And it's going to be game over. Come on, do your L1. I know you want to. Alright, whatever. Either way, it's over. Goodbye, pigeon. <laughs> and you know what? You don't have low, low health. I, I'm running a thousand health. That's that's okay in the arena. Like regardless of what my health is, usually I'll have like 1300, but 300 less for the ability to one combo somebody, definitely worth it. Now, depending on what weapon your opponent has, they're going to each pose different problems for you. I don't think a spear should be that big of a deal. This guy, especially since he's just throwing light attacks out there every two seconds. Um, but... I find the straight sword is going to be the hardest to deal with, in my opinion, because it's hard to poise through that that weapon in general. There we go. I just had to wait for him to do his final move. GG. <laughs> that was cutting it close. I was just tanking hits looking for an opening, but regardless, we still overcame. Alright, we have a straight sword split leaf user. Using Sacred Oath. So maybe he's trying to one combo as well, but I swear we're going to outpoise him. I have faith in our build. Come on, man. Go for the attack. There you go. There you go. Do that one more time. Just got to be brave and go for the attack. Are you serious, man? What's... I'm, I'm not wearing... I'm not wearing a Lloyd Sword Ring. What are you going to gain out of this? There you go. There's your combo. Now, my turn? Yeah, my turn. Boom! <laughs> yeah. See what I mean? You can still withstand attacks from the opponent. You don't have a dimmed health pool. It's kind of small, but when you're unembered, regardless, having 35 health only gives you like 12 to 1300. So, I'm honestly just so happy that I was able to turn my favorite weapon into a one combo build. Because I have one for the split leaf. That one's pretty easy. But this, this is a lot of fun to me. I'm just waiting for him to throw out the L1. Okay, I wasn't ready right then. Good on him. Do it one more time, big boy. One more time. It's over if you do it one more time. Following it up. Yep. GG. Oh, but my health. That was a risk. 
And it paid off. Tears of Denial may even be a good addition to this build if you're willing to sacrifice some health from your health pool and gain that. It may be worth it. I'll test that out for you guys and I'll let you know. La sexy V3, alright. There you go, you gotta take some swings, man. If you don't battle, how are you gonna win? I know you're afraid. Oh, there's the straight sword we all expect. Oh, but it's over. Oh, GG. I don't even know the cap of this. I've seen it do, I think, 1285 is the highest so far, but he died, so. We'll see if we can get some tank monsters up in here. So regardless if you land the combo or not, this this build is still powerful. You're doing around 500 damage per swing. That's pretty insane. Are those the Brigand Twin Daggers? Damn. Yep, it has begun. The quick step meta has begun. Oh, but it's over already for him. GG. Not even quick step can save you from this monster. You just have to make sure you trade at some point, and it's over for your opponent. Builds like this are the true scum of Dark Souls, but hey, it's up to us to find them. These type of builds are my personal favorite builds because your opponent is not expecting to die in one combo. No one ever is. It's it's not unless I see someone running around with red tier stone range health and it active. I'm expecting it, but not in an arena duel. And this guy's got the cell swords. He's looking for his combo. I'm looking for mine, but mine's gonna destroy him. <laughs> it's gonna be over before it begins. Come here, sir. Come on, be a brave one. There you go, but it's over. GG, my man. You actually fought pretty well, though. You almost got your combo off. But I have the range and the hyper armor. Oh, and Mr. Cellsword over there wants a rematch. Damn, alright. Well, now he knows he can die in one combo, so I wonder if he's going to play it a little bit differently or not. If he's going to be more aggressive, less aggressive. You think... Nah, I think it's going to be the same outcome. As soon as I see him move for an attack, all I have to do is trade, and it's over. See, even when you know it's coming, this build is really hard to counter. Thanks for showing me that, man. Alright guys, this is our final match, and this dude looks like a tank. His name is War, looks like a pure strength and vitality build. So, hopefully this will showcase exactly how powerful this build actually is. And how much damage it can actually output. Go for a second swing. Make one mistake. That's all I ask of you. There we go. GG War. Alright, so... His health was 1285, but he looked like he had some decent absorption. He also looked like he was buffed up by Cheat Engine, but hey. I have also been wondering if the light attack to jump attack combo would one combo an enemy as well. Oh, you're giving me a chance! Oh, a smidge off! Okay, so it, it, it probably will one combo some people. I won't let him heal again. This guy... You just want to die because you know you're going to lose. Man, well, whatever. We tested it. A light attack to jumping attack. Probably could kill somebody, but... Alright, guys, I'm pretty sure you get the idea, right? Light attack, weapon art, light attack. And they're dead. That's all you have to manage in the battle to win. So make sure you're taking the best opportunities to trade. Whether they're using a straight sword, you're going to want to attack a little bit early and kind of predict their moveset. Great sword, you can start up with them on reaction. Ultra great, same thing, even easier. Each of the weapons have a different way to counter them, and I hope you guys have kind of by this point figured them out. But if you haven't, just test it out. You'll eventually come to know the timing, and it, this build will be yours. Um, what else do I have to say? Let's see. You can also do the light attack to jumping attack. That is a true combo, but like I said with the one test that you guys saw, it didn't kill that guy in one shot. So it's up to you if you want to use that or not. The true combo will kill them in one shot, though. So keep that in mind. Again, here's my gear, armor, rings, if you guys didn't see it at the beginning. My stats again. And I just want to thank you guys for watching. I'm always trying to find new builds to create, fun ways to use each of the weapons to make them overpowered. Because everybody likes a certain weapon, right? It's your favorite weapon. And if you can have an optimized build for it to do the most damage output for the arena, well then I want to work on it for you guys. Um, 
mostly weapons with true combos are the ones that I could probably pull off. Um, things like the Astora Greatsword, it it might be possible, but you'd have to sacrifice a lot of health. Um, just just know that weapons with true combos definitely doable, and it's not too difficult to accomplish. So keep that in mind. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Like the video if you enjoyed the video. I hope you did. Otherwise, why were you here? Um, subscribe for more Souls content. I upload daily. And I stream every weekday, so if you guys are interested, stop by, say hi. And if you want me to try and optimize a one combo build or a one shot build around a weapon, just comment it below. Don't don't make like broken straight sword. That's not really gonna happen at soul level 120. So thanks in advance, guys, and I'll see you around. Chase the bro out.